uh, another one of the metaphors mm-hmm. was um, the fact that Jesus, we're told in the, in, the, in the New Testament, that Jesus was arrested and, uh, and, and he was arrested and taken to court at night. And it was uh, at night time. And, and we're told that uh, in, in the reference books of the Christianity tells you that that was really a no-no. You never to do that in the ancient world was to hold night court. You know, we have night courts now, but no, according to the reference works on, on religion, it said that that was not to be done uh, to, to hold a court at night. Why? Because it's just not not the thing to do because people couldn't be there in the court so if you're going to find somebody guilty or put them on trial do it during the day when people can be there in the broad daylight and you're not hiding anything and everyone's awake and they're there to hear what the what the case is or what the case is made and so you don't hold a court at night that's very suspicious do it in the daytime when all the adults can be there mm. and everybody can hear it. And so, the, but the story is that no, uh, Jesus was uh, tried at night and he was found guilty and sentenced to death and he was going to die because he was found guilty. Well, what that is actually saying as a metaphor is that the Son, God's Son, the light of the world, the Son, uh, is is the light of the world. Well, here's the point, or here's the metaphor. If somebody who is brilliant, and this is a word we use in relation to somebody being very bright, being very well-read, and very highly educated, we say they're very bright. Uh, uh, not, not only that, but some of them are just brilliant. Well, those words, brilliant and, and, and very bright, implies a light. And so these people are really a light to everyone. They, they light up the conversation because they're very brilliant and minded. And so Jesus is the light of the world. So he's very brilliant. And so, but he's being tried at night. Now, the story, the metaphor is this. You are, are, when someone is very bright and they're brilliant and highly educated on a particular subject and they're talking to you and they're trying to educate you, and but you're in the dark, you don't even know what they're talking about, but they're trying to educate you and show you something uh, and enlighten you. Uh, and so what? how does the light come up? Well, it comes up when the sun comes up. And so we call that the dawn, the dawn when the sun comes up. So when someone is brilliant and they're trying to explain something to you and you finally see it because you've been in the dark, but you finally see what they're talking about, you say, oh, I, it just dawned on me what you're saying. What do you mean it just dawned on you? Well, I mean, now I see what you're saying. How do you see well, I see with the light, and you just shine a light on the subject, and now it just dawned on me what the subject is. I've always been in the dark, and I never understood it, mm. but you just shed the light on the subject, and now I see it. And so what I'm saying is that when someone is brilliant or filled with light and highly enlightened, uh, intelligent, and they're trying to teach you something and explain something to you, but you are in the dark on the subject, then as you're sitting there and listening to this person's talking to you, what are you doing? You're doing in your mind, in your brain, and in your mind, you are hearing this person trying to enlighten you. And so what are you doing? You're uh, obviously, like any other human being, you're trying to decide if this person is as t- intelligent as he sounds, and maybe what he's saying is the truth, but then again, he may be just a clever con man, and it may be all a bunch of bold to start with, and a lie and deception, but then again, it may be true. 
So what you're doing is you are holding a court. You are judging this person talking Mm. in your brain, in your mind. And so you are trying to decide if he's if he's right or he's wrong, he's guilty, uh, or if he's really bright. But you're doing this; you're holding court. You are just trying to make a decision about this this person because he's very bright. And so you are holding court in your head. And so this is why the court. The Bible says Jesus was taken to the temple. Well, that's the side of your head. The lobe on the side of your head is called your temple. Mm. And so when you sit and listening to someone trying to explain to you something, then you are holding court uh, on this person and what they're saying in your temple, in the temple. Now, when you finally decide, no, this guy is just full of bull. Uh, it sounded good. It sounded intelligent. But now I, I've decided that he's just lying or he's just a, a con man. Now what you have done is you have put to get to death the sun, the the the, the light of the world. You put to death the light. Mm-hmm. Where in your mind, in your brain, you have decided that this brilliance that you've been listening to is a bunch of bull and it has no basis in fact, so therefore you have found it guilty. And where? In your temple, in the temple. And therefore, you are now going to put him to death. And where, where did you put him to death? You put him to death in your mind. And that's why it says Jesus, when he was found guilty, was sentenced to death and Galgatha, look it up in the Bible, it says Jesus died at Galgatha. And Galgatha, even the Bible tells you, Galgatha is called the skull place, or the place of the skull was called Galgatha. Mm. Well, of course, if you're putting to death intellectual enlightenment in your mind or the temple in your head, and you're putting it together, to, and you actually decide he's lying, or it's all a bunch of bull, then you have put him to death where? In your temple. Mm-hmm. And then he died. Where did he die? Where did the light die? It died in your head. And so the God's son, the light of the world, uh, dies uh, at Galgotha. The scripture says in Galgotha, if you look it up, it says in the Bible, Galgotha is another name for a place of the skull mm. or the skull place. Yeah, because that's where you put to death the light is in your skull, is in your head. You were listening to right. the light and then you decided it's a fun, bunch of bull. So now you put it to death in your head. And now God's son, the light of the world. The, the brilliance uh, of intellectual and spiritual enlightenment, you just put it to death in the temple. 